Hi, this is the our final project for power electronics and we make a dimmer. Dimmer are device used to lower to the bridges of a light. Be changing the, vol the voltage waveform applied to the lamp. It is possible to lower the intensity of the light output. Auto variable voltage devices are used for various purposes. The term dimmer is generally, generally reserved for tubes intended to the, to the control light output from resistive incandescent halogen and more recently compact fluorescent lights, CFLs, and lights emitting the other LED. More specialized equipment is needed to dim fluorescent, mercury vapor, solid state, and other, and other lighting. Um, the types uh, type rheostat dimmer, sailed weather dimmer, coil rotation ring transformer, auto transformer dimmer, solid state dimmer. Triac from the triad for alternative current is generic trademark for a three terminal electronic component that conducts current in either direction. This formal name is direct bidirectional tri tristor or bilateral tri tristor. A tristor is analogous to a relay in that a small voltage and current can control a much large voltage. The illustration like here, the number one and two is a anode and the number three is the gate. Triac are a subset of tristor and are related to silicon control rectifier. Trikes differ from SCRs in the die allow current flow in both directions. We are and C CCR can only conduct current in a single direction. Most track can be triggered by amplitude either a positive or negative voltage of the gate different from the CCR that actives with the positive voltage. <laughs> so the DIAC is a diode that conducts electrical current only after its breakover voltage has been reached. The term is an acronym of diode for alternate current. When the breakdown occurs, the diode enters a region of negative, negative, negative dynamic resistance, leading to a decrease in the voltage drop across the diode and usually a sharp increase in current throughout the diode. The diode remains in conduction until the current through it drops below a value characteristic for the device, called call the holding current. Below this value, the diode switches back to its high resistance, no conducting state. This behavior is bidirectional, meaning typically the same for both the for both directions of current. Most diodes have a three-layer structure with breakover voltage of approximately 30 volts. Their behavior is similar to that of a neon lamp, but it can be more precisely controlled and takes place at a lower voltage. So this is the potentiometer that will change the intensity of the light. This is the triac and the DIAC, we use two resistors, one of 8.2K and one of another one of 10K. These are two capacitors and if we move the potentiometer, the intensity will change. And that's it.